I want to demonstrate how it's possible through tooling only to create bundle and minified CSS and JavaScript files. So previously or today, you have to either use some sort of uh, extension to Visual Studio or a runtime component such as system web optimization or request reduce or any of the other uh, runtime components uh, in the NuGet gallery. Now this can all be done through the tooling uh, in a very, very simple way. Let's say that I have uh, two CSS files and I want to bundle them up and have that bundle being minified so it's easy for me to surf in a highly optimized way to the browsers. So I simply just select the CSS files or folders that I want uh, to minify and bundle and right click and say create CSS bundle file. And I'll give it a name, let's call this uh, layout. And as you can see, Visual Studio automatically creates a bundle file, XML file, that contains the name of the um, content, the individual CSS files inside of it. It also lays down a CSS file. This is the bundled CSS file um, containing uh, all the, the bundled CSS file in one. So the bundling has already taken place right now. And it also has a min file. And this is a um, minified version of the layout CSS file right here. So the experience uh, from a web developer's point of view should be very, very uh, predictable. Um, that means that if you change anything in one of the source files, like here, site CSS, let me delete something and hit save, you'll see that Visual Studio now notice that something has changed to layout CSS because I have it open right here. I want to reload it. Yes, please. So you see the, the actual experience of the web developer remains the same. These things are auto-updating all the time. So you just reference the layout CSS or the minified file from your project, and whenever you change the source, it automatically updates. Now if we take a look at the actual bundle XML file right here, we can see that we can specify whether or not this should run on build. So if this is set to true as it is by default, every time the solution is built, all bundle files get uh, updated or, or reproduced if you want. Um, and we can also specify whether or not we want the minification to happen from the tooling. Uh, if you say this set this to false, it might mean that you want to do your minification through uh, system web optimization or any other runtime component. Uh, and it works the exact same way for JavaScript. So in this case, we can actually statically and at design time create bundles and create minified files uh, ready to deploy to our web servers, uh, very painless to the end user.